got allergies? No problem. This dog is considered to be hypoallergenic. That's because they have human-like hair, not fur. Fur holds more dander than hair. Dander can irritate people. Hello there, I'm a Maltese, and if there was a pet owner fan club, I would be the founding member. Yes, instead of fur, we have hair. Because of this, we're great for people with severe pet allergies. As low to the ground as a water bottle and weighing about as much as an average one-year-old, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier is not the world's smallest dog. But to size things up, it would take a stack of three dandies to reach the height of your average St. Bernard. What dandies lack in stature, they make up for in quiet confidence that has led them to be called the gentlemen of the terrier world. The poodle undoubtedly originated as a water retriever. There are three varieties of poodles. The standard poodle, the miniature poodle, and the toy poodle. The toy poodle is characterized in the toy group and stands 10 inches or under when measured at the highest point of the shoulders. The Havanese. This tiny canine with a big heart has a taste for the good life. And it's no wonder. For centuries, these pampered pooches have adorned the laps of the rich and famous. Good boy. Queen Victoria owned two of the toy dogs, and Charles Dickens had one he affectionately called Tim. But Barbara Walters swears her Havanese is really something special. Her dog's name is Cha-Cha, and uh, she said that it told her, I love you. She announced that on The View, so maybe it can talk. You might want to call this the supermodel dog. Why? It's hairdo, of course. Long and lavish and perfectly parted right down the middle of its back. And they have that flowing coat all the way to the ground where you can't even hardly see their feet. It's a hardy breed that is lively and intelligent and whose body is longer than it is tall. And these dogs don't shed much, which makes them a good choice for allergy sufferers. As for grooming, it can be a lot of work depending on the cut. White Terrier is one of the only dogs whose tail was bred to be strong enough to pull them out of tight hole. That adorable white coat is the most obvious Westie feature. It's double layered with a coarse outer coat that sheds dirt and debris as it tunnels. A warm undercoat makes it a good cold weather dog. They were developed from Karen Terriers that happened to be white and bred over and over again until they achieved these white dogs. If you're looking for a personality plus in a puffball package, here's your pooch. A cute little dog with sort of mustache and beard and hairy ears. This is the Coton de Tuléard, a rare breed with a French name and some famous American fans. These little darlings have been popular with owners like Deborah Messing and Barbara Streisand. And they have a habit of balancing on their hind legs to please people. And its exercise requirements are low. Some indoor fun, a short daily walk, or even a swim does the trick. The Sealyham Terrier was originally bred in Wales to hunt badger, fox, and otter. He's a hard worker, powerful and determined, full of true terrier spirit. 
The Sealyham Terrier stands about 10 and a half inches measured at the withers and weighs between 23 and 24 pounds. The Chinese Crested makes everyone stop and take notice. You can't walk down the street with a Chinese Crested without having at least one person say, oh my gosh, what is that? But did you know that the crest in their name refers to the plume of hair on the top of their heads? And that unlike most dogs, they have sweat glands and don't pant to regulate their temperature. Or that many are allergic to wool. Some think this breed is a cousin of the Mexican Xolo eats Queenly and the Chihuahua.